Hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'm T9 Fury, a member of the BSB Network Social Gaming Clan, and I'm here today to bring you a review or at least a little insight into the game This War of Mine. Um, this War of Mine is a survival game, uh, nothing like uh, Zombie Apocalypse or anything like that. Um, it's based around a uh, besieged city that is surrounded by the military with rebels on the inside and survivors and you take the story line of some of the survivors um, it was produced and developed by uh, 11 bit studios it currently retails on steam at 14 pounds 99 so and i think it's a good uh, bargain for the money uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go into the game. Uh, the open screen is uh, pretty simple. Uh, quick credits and uh, settings and your game menu. Um, I can either start a new game. Uh, initially, obviously, you only get new game. Uh, but because I've already been playing it, I can either continue with my current progress or I can um, start a new game. So for the purposes of the review, I'm going to start a new game. Initially, you only get one storyline, which is this one up at the top left-hand corner, which is with Katia, Bruno and Pavel. And um, as you progress through the game, uh, it unlocks all these other stories. And uh, I've not yet tried them, but uh, we'll, I'll show you this other one. Now, you can. there is only one game you can play at any one time. You can't save it and go back and play another game and save that it is only one game and the game saves whenever you exit the game so uh, you will always only be playing one game at a time so it's going to ask me if I want to uh, lose my current progress I'm going to say yes and we'll get into the game um, yeah the uh, no saving business I think it's actually probably a good thing it does make the game a little bit more um, intense and uh, probably a little bit frustrating if you do screw things up um, because you can't go back and load in a previous uh, position because there are no saves the only save is when you exit right so we're here in our shelter as you can see it res resembles the old style platform games but uh, probably not as funny um, we get a brief outline of our characters and um, you know I'll let you read that at your leisure when you buy the game um, what I'll do is I'm gonna not explain too much initially because I just want to quickly get my characters onto hunting for supplies um, because the, the the cycle of the day is actually quite uh, short so I'm just gonna quickly run around and get a few things done Oh, I need those materials. Um, as you can see, there's loads of icons all over the screen that enable me to do things and uh, uh, make things as well. So I'll explain those uh, in a short while. Uh, let's get that explored. That explored. Um, you see the. Um, let's grab all that. And let's grab all of that. All these little icons are allowing me to uh, uh, grab all. Right, I've finished uh, making this uh, metal workshop, so I'm just going to quickly get um, a shovel made. And we'll bring him down here. Right, uh, so all of these icons then, basically we've got, um, you know, you've got things that I could uh, open doors here. Um, you know, you can close the doors as well. Um, you can move around, left click, move around. Uh, double left click is a run. Uh, let's just get him making something else. Let's make a crowbar. Um, right, now... Um, We've also got this rubble. Now, without a shovel, I'd have to do this by hand, but it'd take some time. But because I made a shovel quickly in this workshop, 
um, he's digging through the rubble and it actually uh, does it a lot quicker than doing it by hand. He's also, um, this chap down there, Bruno, is also making a crowbar. So now I can uh, crowbar through locked doors. Um, let's go out uh, into this back garden, see what we've got out here. We're going to grab all of this gear here. So as you can see, this hand icon is allowing me to search... Um, hidey holes for you know any goodies that might be there so I'm going to grab all of those the hand icon also signifies the use of an item so let's say for example this chair would have a hand icon above it and uh, allows me to sit down if there's a bed I could use the bed uh, let's get down here um, you'll see um, uh, if I've not got a lock pick or a crowbar um, you'll see when I attempt to open cupboards, some of them are locked and it'll come up with a padlock. So I can either crowbar it open, or if I've got a lock pick, um, I can use the lock pick um, to open those. Uh, so that means I can have all the goodies in there. We've got some nice food there. I shall go through the inventory system um, in a minute, but because the day is actually quite short in game time. Um, I just need to get as much done as possible. Um, the 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 day cycle, the game is split into cycles. You've got um, the day and night cycle. During the day, you can only spend that in your shelter, so you use that time to uh, build uh, workshops. Um, you know, rest if you've got a bed and things like that, and uh, other activities. You could even grow vegetables and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, And, oh, he's using a shovel. Oh, he's using a hand. Why was he using his hand? See, what I mean by the uh, digging by hand is actually quite slow. So I shall uh, quickly get him onto that uh, crowbar over there. And then it, I'll stop what he's doing. Now, when he goes in again, he should break out a shovel, which he has done. Thank you. Um, see, because I've only got one crowbar only the lock pick was available but the crowbar is available now so I'm gonna get a uh, to uh, crowbar open that right now because we've got some space down here what I want to do is some of my characters at some stage might want to rest so I'm gonna go to the workshop uh, that's the metal workshop I want to go to that workshop you got various workshops to build stuff in the game um, if we go in the workshop here you've got uh, you know beds, chairs, radio and stuff like that so initially uh, what I'm at, oh, actually what I could try upgrading or you can upgrade workshops as well and I want to see no I'm short of components so I'm going to give that a miss I'm going to go into this workshop and I'm going to build a bed and I'm going to place that down here and here we'll go down there and build that bed and Pavel uh, is over here uh, what can he do I think most of it's explored apart from that top floor which Catchy is going to do I'll go into a detail a bit more detail on the next day cycle and you see some doors are boarded up. Now I can still get through them as long as I'm on the right side of the door that the boards are on. Uh, it just takes a bit longer uh, to open that door. Um, if, I, if it was boarded up from the other side, I would have to find a new way through um, on to, to, uh, to take down the boards from the other side. Right, so our day cycle's ended. As you can see, it's, it's only about six or seven minutes is the day cycle, so quite quick. Uh, you can't really get much done. Um, and the night cycle, now here is what we choose to do with our characters. Um, now our characters, obviously we've got uh, character cards on this left-hand side, and we can see that they've got backpack icon. Uh, we can see by Pavel, He's slightly sick, but I'm going to use him to scavenge because he's got a bigger a backpack and he's also a fast runner. So he should hopefully be able to get out of the shit if he needs to. Um, and Katia is going to uh, sleep in a bed. 
and I'm going to put Bruno on guard. Um, what we do is on the right hand side now, we've got our destinations. Initially, there's only three to four destinations available. Um, and uh, we see our shelter here. Um, we also see our destinations. We can select which one we want to go to. Uh, if you have a look um, at the top right hand corner we can see what's likely to be at that shelter so at this ruined block of flats we've got lots of food huge amounts of material some meds lots of weapons and lots of parts so all the stuff we need so we're going to go and explore that or if we wanted to choose another destination now up here it tells us what we're likely to find there but it also says possible trade caution advised so there's likely going to be people there but we um, you don't know if they're going to be aggressive or not but I would put it down to possible trade so I'd say um, they're, they're more than likely going to ask us if we want to trade anything um, you can also go to other places when they appear uh, it might say danger so the chances are if you go there you're going to have a um, a, a bad encounter uh, not necessarily disastrous but you might have a bit of a scrap with someone um, what you will also get is each time you explore an area which I'll show you next on the next night cycle is you'll get a percentage up here of how much you've explored of that area so what we'll do is we'll select this block of flats, prepare for it. So this is the stuff in the inventory. Now I've got no particular weapons apart from a shovel. Um, I can also use that for digging. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to take two lock picks in case I come across any locks. Now the difference between a lock pick and a crowbar is a lock pick is one use only. So what will be handy is if I use both of these lock picks, it will free up that inventory slot and I can put more gear in there. However, with the crowbar, it stays in the inventory. Um, things like the crowbar and the shovel, they have got life cycles, so they do degrade and you do have to build them. But it means I'm using up an inventory slot, so I'm going to go with the lock pick and it loads it in and again similar to our shelter screen but this time we've got our ruined uh, block of flats now when you're out and about um, you've got uh, your backpack uh, you can run to the exit which means I'll run to the nearest exit and on some uh, some of these missions there is an exit on both sides of the screen I don't think there is on this one so it's just the one exit um, you can switch between scavenge mode or attack mode uh, so with the attack mode I've got a shovel if I've got a gun that would appear there as well um, you've got icons that appear when you're in scavenge mode so I can search so the hand icon I can search it and I'm going to grab everything that's in there uh, so this is materials that we need again I'll go through the uh, different materials when I get back to the shelter so let's go uh, up into the flats let's explore out, uh, also this stuff here I'm going to grab it all I tend to, when I first hit a, uh, um, a building I generally just grab everything and then explore as I go along to see if there's any better stuff um, and I normally clear from bottom to top um, in any any given house um, you also get these um, magnifying glasses that you can uh, leave little notes some of them are hints and tips about where stuff is in the game some of it's uh, um, just boring stuff that's uh, about as much use as tits on a fish um, but there is one in a house somewhere um, that uh, tells me there's a gun in the back garden so you go back out into the back garden there's a you, you know you can get a gun um, so that's uh, all got some food there so definitely want that food um, let's just take that for now um, next to doors you've also got a little eye icon so I can peer through um, now just because I can't see nothing there it doesn't mean I can't search in here um, if I go through the door it's mainly for if there's people in the house um, or if you can hear a banging on the other side of the door you can see if it's a person um, uh, a win a window closing and opening in the wind and things like that 
and what we've got here we've got uh, more components let's take some more components I think Right now, even though my inventory is full, what I do is I normally um, do still carry on um, exploring because then I can also find out whether I'm going to need equipment on my next run. So, for example, on this house here, I need a saw blade because the the uh, doors are barred up, so I can't get through. Uh, if I go to the top, let's have a look up here, and we've got another one here, so I can't get through that. So these items are not available to me so what I'm gonna do is on my next visit I know I'm gonna need a saw blade so I'm gonna run to the exit for now this means I'll be going back to my shelter the night cycle will end and I shall be back uh, doing some stuff at home um, while um, while we're back in the shelter I will quickly run through the in um, the my inventory so I can tell you what sort of stuff you need for what um, and I'll go into a bit more detail on the um, the uh, what you can do in the shelter. So um, after the night cycle ends, it gives us a log for that day. Uh, tells us what Pavel got. Um, here it also tells us if we got raided. Um, uh, it tells us if people have got wounded, whether they've ended up sick. Uh, so Pavel is slightly sick. So what I'm going to do is I've got in in your shelter you've got medication and food and drink supplies so here we've got bandages um, bottles of pills um, herbal medicines uh, so because I'm slightly sick I'm gonna have some medicine so we'll have that medicine and also because he's my scavenger and I need him at night so I'm gonna put him in bed because he's uh, quite tired let's get a uh, catcher up here out of the way and what I'm going to do now is I want to see if I can upgrade because that saw blade um, is I can only make that through the improved uh, the improved metal workshop I've still not got enough materials so I need seven more components and um, three more wood so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to build anything else in here in the shelter because I, I don't want to use up my components um, right on the food side going back to this bit um, you've got food you got vegetables raw food and you've got canned food and you've got alcohol um, the you can eat everything as it is there uh, canned food um, will always be ate just as canned food but your vegetables and your raw food what you can do is you can cook meals and it makes them more nutritious uh, to eat so your hungry status um, will stay as it is for you know a longer period of time uh, right your inventory which you can access at the top left hand corner here this tells us uh, shows us all the items that we've got um, so whether we've got enough of each item there is absolutely loads in the game um, so you know you got to explore a lot um, also each item is split into categories and has got their various uses so we've got things like um, uh, medication food and tobacco at the top here and uh, things we use to grow the vegetables so this is some fertilizer uh, so later on once we uh, make a vegetable garden uh, we can either use it to grow the vegetables or we can put it in a um, an animal trap so we can capture animals for food um, we've also got equipment so things like your crowbar saw blades lock picks shovels they all go in here then you've got materials this is what you use to craft all the items in the game so most things take components and wood uh, we've got uh, parts so you get some stuff that takes a few parts uh, water obviously for making uh, boiling the food when we've made a cooker uh, some parts also take electrical parts again there's absolutely loads of other different items as well so there's a lot of crafting and a lot of items that take different items um, we've also got uh, books now I've never uh, come across a situation where I'm reading a book but a book comes in handy so I can burn it as fuel 
uh, for the for the heater or the cooker and things like that and uh, you would also have at the bottom here if you've got any weapons like guns uh, that'll appear down here along with your ammunition and things like that so that's your inventory right we've got a trader at the door as well um, these these dudes uh, are, they don't come along every day but uh, they do come more often uh, than not um, so we're going to send Katya up there because she's got some good bargaining skills so she'll go up there and she's going to sit now it might not be a trader it might be someone who wants help yep so we've got a trader so what we're going to do before I trade with them I'm going to send uh, Bruno down here to see what we needed to upgrade that metal workshop so I needed uh, seven components and uh, three wood so she's going to go ahead and trade and we're looking for components which is just there so we want seven of those and we want three wood well, I'll take four anyway um, now what have we got to now we haven't really got much to bargain with but I do know that sugar uh, I'm not going to need that immediately that's used to make um, uh, moonshine so and I ain't going to be doing that anytime soon so I'm going to try and see how much this dude will take right we have a deal so and that's all I'm going to do for now because I've still got to raid that house for more supplies so we're going to end the trading is going to piss off and uh, let's close the door while we're at it and now I should be able to upgrade my workshop so there we go right, let's get catchier down here now I'm not going to really be able to make anything else because if I look at my inventory I've got one wood left and no components so I can't make anything uh, so what I'll do is I'll end the day and I'm going to go on another scavenge uh, once this dude's made the uh, improved workshop now the difference between a normal workshop and improved one is obviously the improved one gives me uh, more access to so with the uh, the metal workshop I only had crowbar lockpick and a shovel and a knife now I can make a saw blade so I can get through those metal bars which we came across I've got a hatchet I can use that to chop up furniture so even if you explore every aspect of a house once you've explored it you could still go back in there with a hatchet and chop up all the furniture and use that for wood so just because it says it's a hundred percent explored go back in there and get hold of that furniture because you will need it um, and also we've got uh, a gun uh, a shotgun and a helmet now I can't uh, actually build any of those because I'm short of some components I should have saw this coming really but uh, hey ho um, hopefully I'll get them on the next exploration so I'm going to cut the day short again end the day I'm going to go on a scavenger gun but this time for the purpose of this review normally I do that house keep going there 100% until I've got everything uh, but what I'm going to go to, uh, what I'm going to do is go to a place where there's maybe a bit of danger, maybe not too much danger. Oh, I'll do this one because it looks like there's someone there, but it might not be dangerous. So I'm going to take um, Pavel. Uh, Bruno's going to sleep in the bed and this time Catchy's going to guard. So let's prepare for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shovel as a weapon and just in case I need to dig and I'm going to take a couple of lockpicks and that's all. I've got no other weaponry so this might be a bit of a toughie. So, so straight away we're on the screen, we're on the right hand side of the screen this time. Is there an exit out the other side? I don't normally uh, find out if there is or not because uh, it doesn't really particularly matter. Um, but I'm gonna let's go hunting uh, let's get some supplies let's see what's here uh, let's grab all electrical parts are another good item for more advanced uh, items out the workshops 
uh, some up there, so let's grab that. And let's get components. Well, I've grabbed everything I can. Now, what I'm going to do though, normally I'd just run straight back home for this because I've got loads of components. Let's just have a look at that uh, magnifying glass, see what that gives us. What I'm going to show, I want to show you the combat system um, before I uh, call it quits for the video. Uh, so what we've got, no more hiding, we meet in heaven, okay, whatever. So, as we go over here towards the house, so he's in the garage and we've got the house now, and this dude here says, hey you, I need meds from my father, have you got some? Well, if we look in our inventory, I've got no meds. Um, now, when I played this before, and I come across this dude, I did actually give him some meds, and I wandered around the house uh, at my own will. Um, obviously, if you try and steal stuff in here, he will attack you. But I was going all over here and taking stuff over there. And, and he didn't actually um, come and try and stop me. Um, what you've also got, in a combat situation, you've also got places where you can hide in the shadows. So if you know that someone's going to come through this door, you can hide in the shadows. He won't see you. He'll go on about his business. When he's gone back through the door, you can come out and carry on doing what you're doing. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is the combat system, though. So I'm going to deliberately beat this bloke to crap with my shovel. Now, if I had a gun, I could just shoot him. And uh, basically, as soon as I hit this attack icon, I'll get a crosshairs, um, uh, an icon of who I can hit, a knife. Uh, he's going to shoot me. I'm going to hit him with a... Hit him with the space. He's got a gun on him, so I've got to be quick. Uh, and he died. Anyway, so. <laughs> oh dear. Now, obviously, normally, in a, in a normal situation, I wouldn't uh, go and try and attack someone with a shovel. I'd wait till I've got something that's a bit more lethal, like a knife or a. Um, um, a gun or something like that but as it happens I just wanted to show you that for the purposes of the review so anyway uh, Pavel died oh well uh, he was out killed looking for supplies um, and we continue and our character's dead so now I've only got two characters now I can continue the game with these two characters and see what happens um, but because I don't like losing characters I generally start again and the first I've got with having all original three characters is about 27 days uh, no 29 days um, so it's it is actually quite a hard game uh, to play if you want to play it like that I mean obviously I, I could test it and see how far I'll get with these two but then you've got to worry about who's going to guard the building and you know, while someone's out for supplies and things like that. So, but anyway, that's um, that's the end of the review. I hope you enjoyed it and um, buy it. You need to. So, take care. Thanks a lot.